I, I got another question here. Uh, who's a, uh, who took the best clothesline other than me? <laughs> Billy Gunn. I hit you with that clothesline a lot by mistake. Uh, by, by mistake. You know, somebody somehow the, the other opponent would always duck and I'd hit you. Uh, Billy Gunn. No doubt about it. Billy Gunn used to take it like I killed him, and he would flip with it. And Billy Gunn is – I saw Billy one time in a six-man tag match make the greatest comeback I've ever seen to this day in my life, and I've watched tens of thousands of matches. Billy was so freaking – still is so freaking talented. Yeah. Billy took that clothesline like it killed him. So did X-Pac. A lot of guys did. He was He was, He was. was a the great The only guys athlete. who couldn't take it well were guys that couldn't bump quick. And because of that, it was such a freaking massive collision. <laughs> if if guys didn't bump quick, I mean, it almost killed me. Uh, and uh, oh yeah, okay. I'm gonna bring this up to you. I'm sure you remember it, Jake the Snake. You remember Jake? Yeah, very well. Okay, of course we, we worked he, with him he, when we were in Europe. He, yeah, he came one of the to greatest me. legends ever. Yeah, he came to me one night and he says, "Brother, you know that voice he's got, you know." You need to talk to your boy. I said, why? He, he's killing me with that clothesline. And I went, well, Jake, really, I think you might be better served if you go to John and tell him that he might need to or change it up somehow. Because if I went to you, it's me telling you. He needs to go. But I remember standing outside that ring watching you, John, Brother, when you would hit Jake, it was splat. Oh, my yeah. God. I would go, oh, God. Because like you said, if you bumped quick. Yeah, you didn't touch you. I yeah. hate to give that out. Booker T stooged me a while back and said that and I never touched him with the clothesline because he bumped quick. And so it kind of killed my whole gimmick uh, yeah. <laughs> of the clothesline from hell because everybody thought it was so bad. But And I, I, had, I had heard so much about it and saw so much from it. The last night we were together, you know, you was going to clothesline me. Yeah. I'm going the whole match. I'm going, Oh God. <laughs> oh God. He's going to, he's going to kill me. Guess what? You never touch me. Cause I was gone. That's right. As soon as it's I coming, bam, I'm know. down. And it looked like it killed me. And I got out of there. Yeah, so many guys I would never, just never touch. You know, it just looked like, because I'd launch myself into them. I developed that in Japan with Sakurata over, over the course of a tour about how to throw the clothesline. I finally figured out where, you know, if the guy bumps quick, it doesn't even touch him. Mm -hmm. uh, the problem was with Jake was Jake was older, and uh, Jake was at a point in his career because of so many injuries, he couldn't bump quick. Yep. And so I was trying everywhere in the world not to hurt Jake, but it was just a freaking collision. You know, I come running off the ropes, you know, full speed, go flying into him. And then just, I mean, it was just, it was a splat. You're right. I mean, it was a collision every night. I felt terrible because that's Jake, the snake Roberts, you know, <laughs> but <laughs> there's not really a way to work it. If the guy doesn't bump quick. And because of that, I mean, I, I felt bad for it because I had so much respect for, for Jake. You felt bad for him. <laughs> uh, he was, a, you know, he's a no, legend. No, he, was, he, he was, he was, he, he was, was like, you know, Jake could, man, Jake could work. You know, Jake, I got him at a point in his career when he was, uh, you know, I, I don't want to talk bad, past his prime, you know, physically, because yeah. he couldn't, he couldn't do much. You know, he was, he was hurt, but man, he could get over doing, doing very little. He was oh, a good very player. little. We worked Jake, with him. Jake we the snake, him. he had psychology down to uh, a T. He didn't have to do nothing. Yeah, that's right. Jake the snake, you could watch him and you could almost see him thinking. And you, and then now you get into the part like, what is he? What is going through that head of his? Because that's the image he gave off, and that's the image he got over. So Jake yeah, and he was, was so different. He did soft promos, so you'd have to listen to him. Mm -hmm. you know, he was just Jake. Jake's a smart, smart guy. Uh, he yep. really knew the business.